Dear learners, in this presentation, we are going to discuss about polyploidy breeding, which is a part of cultivation and collection of plants. In this particular presentation, I am going to focus on the medicinal plants. First of all, we need to know what do you mean by polyploidy. It is something which involves three or more sets of chromosomes and may occur naturally or by induction. Nearly all plants probably have some polyploid tissues. For example, the plant endosperm is triploid, wheat is hexaploid and the strawberry is octaploid. What is the origin of the polyploids? There are various modes of origin of polyploids such as the somatic doubling during mitosis, the non-reduction in meiosis leading to the production of unreduced gametes, polyspermati that is the fertilization of the egg by two male nuclei if this happens then also polyploidy will occur and endoreplication in this the replication of dna takes place but no cytokinesis takes place. what do you mean by somatic doubling during mitosis it is the chromosome doubling that can occur either in the zygote to produce a completely polyploid individual or it can be locally in the same apical meristem to give a polyploid chimeras. In somatic doubling, the main cause is mitotic non-disjunction. This doubling may occur in purely vegetative tissues like in root nodules and some of the leguminous plant or at time in a branch that may produce flowers or in early embryos. What happens in this, the non-reduction in meiosis leading to the production of unreduced gametes is caused due to meiotic non-disjunction. What happens in this, that the failure of the chromosome to separate and subsequent reduction in the chromosome number. Def definitely, if the chromosome fails to separate, there will be a reduction in the chromosome number. Also, the failure of cell wall formation. For example, Raphanobrassica which is originated by one step process of fusion of two non-reduced gametes. So what is the process of polyploidy radish that is raphanus sativus and nine number of n are taken that is chromosomes and cabbage brassica oliracea here also nine number of chromosomes are taken they are crossbred and raphanobrassica is formed that is amphidiploid that is 4n is equal to 36. What are the factors that promotes the polyploidy? The mode of reproduction, the mode of fertilization, the breeding system, the growth of habit of the plant and the size of chromosome. An interspecific hybrid having a complete diploid chromosome set from each parent and it is known as amphidiploid just like the raphanobrassica. If the parental species are polyploids, the derivatives will be called as amphipolyploid. What are the different types of polyploids? Autoploidy and allopolyploidy. Autopolyploidy, the genome doubling occurs. Doubling of the same chromosome set occurs in this. And autopolyploids are derived from within a single species. Whereas in case of allopolyploidy, it is the product of interspecific hybridization and allopolyploids arise via hybridization between two different species. See, this is a bread wheat. What I have shown here is the polyploidy procedure of this particular bread wheat. See, here triticum, monocum and wild triticum uh, is taken. Both of them are giving 14 chromosomes and the hybridization is done at this stage. It produces AB that is sterilized hybrid from where we get the 14 chromosomes. It can be used to produce T ternitum that contains 28 chromosomes and if further cell division error and cell fertilization occur, it completes to prepare ABD that is sterile hybrid which contains 21 chromosome. Again a cell division error and cell fertilization occurs and it can produce that AABBDD that is called as the bread wheat which contains 42 chromosomes. So this is how the polyploidy occurs in the plant of bread wheat. Artificial allopolyploid. Artificial or synthetic allopolyploids have been synthesized in same crops with two main objectives. One is either to study the origin of naturally available alloploids or to explore the possibilities of creating the new species. What is breeding of autopolyploids? The cells having 
autopolyploid double the chromosome numbers may originate in one of the following several ways either it can be done spontaneously due to treatment with physical agents regeneration in vitro and colchicine treatment so by this you can carry out the breeding of autopolyploid what is the detailed application of uh, polyploidy in crop improvement bridging cross creation of new crop species interspecific gene transfer tracing the origin of crop species with this we conclude the topic that with knowledge of origins variations characteristics of different types of polyploids there are many opportunities for developing and utilizing polyploids in plant improvement programs hybridization can be carried out to give rise to new varieties and species of the plants with better yield with better property with hybrid properties significant opportunities including development of sterile cultivars overcoming the barriers to hybridization restoring fertility in wide hybrid enhancing the flower size increasing the heterosis and vigor and also improving the pest resistance tolerance to environmental stresses all these can be achieved by polyploidy with this i conclude the topic if you have any doubt you can contact me on google classroom thank you